What's going on everyone? Andrew here again with TRP Exclusive, and we are officially in 2023. I hope everyone had a fantastic 2022, a great new year, and the indoor season is rapidly coming up. And I want to talk about one specific race in particular. On February 22nd, it looks like the reigning Olympic champion in the 1500, Jakob Ingebrigtsen, is going after another world record. And he's going after a name that many of you probably know as a legendary name in track and field. It's Daniel Komen from Kenya, the outdoor 3,000 meter world record holder, the outdoor 2 mile world record holder, and he's also the indoor 3,000 meter world record holder. Now this man is just one of the most stunning and impressive athletes that I have ever had the pleasure of reviewing on this channel. I want you to picture yourself in his shoes back in 1996. For his 7 minute and 20 second 3000 world record, he averaged under 59 seconds per lap for seven and a half straight laps. That's one of those facts that I look at and just my brain explodes. It's just unreal to think about. And he's also held these records for almost 30 years now. So the real question is, can Yakabinga Brixen dethrone the Kenyan King over the 3K? And this race is gonna take place on February 22nd, and it's going down in Madrid, Spain. So here's the thing. Jakob has incredible potential over the 1500, the 3000, and the 5000. I think he would also be a tremendous athlete in the 10,000 and the half marathon. But the 3000 indoor record, that's some next level running. So let's take a look at this time barrier and take a look at what his chances are at breaking Komen's record. So to get this time, you're gonna need to average pretty close to 59 seconds per 400 meters, which that is flying. Now we did have someone get very close last year, running less than a 10th of a second outside of Komen's record, but really since then, no one's gotten even close. So this is one of those landmark moments that actually has been quoted as a Mount Everest kind of world record. And the man that said this was Kenanisa Bukele, who was quoted saying that you'll need the perfect competition and the perfect kind of race to take this record down. So here's what I think. Jakob has amazing speed, and he does have the ability to pace races very well. But I think this record is going to be extremely challenging to beat, and I think he's going to need an absolutely perfect performance on the day. This is also the indoor season we're talking about, so he's not going to come into this race at the top tier fitness that he would for the World Championships or the Outdoor Olympic Games, so I think that he's going to have to have what just might be his perfect race. That being said, I think he has the potential to do it. His personal record in the Outdoor 3000 is 727, which is three seconds away from this indoor world record, so he does have the potential. It does seem as though every year that Jakob Ingebrigtsen returns, he returns with a new level of fitness. And this was made apparent last year when he broke the 1500 world record for his second race of 2022. And then of course he went on to have one of the best seasons of any athlete in the world, doubling in the European Championships, winning the 5000 at Worlds, winning the silver medal at Worlds in the 15, which was still very incredible. But I will admit, I find this indoor world record attempt over the 3000 very, very intriguing. In fact, multiple times I have even mentioned that I think Jakob's potential in the 3000 might be the highest in comparison to his speed and strength abilities. So yeah, I am very excited about this race. And one more thing, I cannot find any footage anywhere of Daniel Komen's indoor world record at 7 minutes and 24 seconds. As far as I'm concerned, it just doesn't exist. So if you do know any footage, any links, please share down below right now because I would love to watch this race and review it further. Anyways, I would love to know what you all think about this world record attempt. Do you think Jakob has the ability, and do you think he will execute on race day? And will we see one of Daniel Komen's world records go down? Very excited about this race, so yeah, that's about it. See ya.